Prince Harry reportedly believes that Princess Diana, his mother, communicates with his wife Meghan Markle from the afterlife and this is said to have literally come from his own lips. And Meghan Markle also believes that it is in fact Diana who speaks to her. So during an interview on GB News show Dan Wooten tonight, Tom Bauer revealed that Harry himself confided in a friend about Meghan's connection with Diana. And he said this, and I quote, Harry told a friend that he believes Diana is speaking to Meghan from beyond the grave. I'm sure it's true as it came from Harry's lips. But Harry told a friend of his when he was in London recently that Meghan is in touch with Diana and that Diana, what? that Diana is assuring- Princess Diana. Princess Diana, the mother. And that Meghan is assuring Harry that his mother is absolutely sure that what they're doing is right and she supports them absolutely in everything they're doing. So according to Harry, Diana assures them that their actions are 100% right and provides unwavering support despite her tragic passing in a car crash back in 1997. And then Tom Bauer went on to emphasize that this is a credible claim, stating that it came directly from Harry. And he then mentioned that Meghan maintains contact with Diana to assure Harry that his mother, Diana, approves of their choices and stands by them. So yeah, I'm not sure if it's like a voice that she's hearing or doing a seance or actually seeing apparitions of Diana, but I'm always skeptical of anyone who claims to be hearing from someone or something, especially when it's one-sided like this. Now, in hearing all this, Dan Wooten pointed out that Diana would likely be displeased with the ongoing rift between Prince Harry and his brother, Prince William. And his guest, Tom Bauer, acknowledged Harry's need for reassurance and stated, yes, but he needs assurance. With Harry living a life of complete and utter fantasy and in denial. And Meghan has found the perfect vehicle to reassure him that all is well by telling him that his mother approves of everything he has done. And Meghan, who has kept her silence, who this week, was hugely humiliated. No Dior contract, Spotify off as we predicted, Netflix problems as we predicted. That's from the lips of Tom Bauer. So does Harry need reassurance to make things right with his brother? Yeah, I guess so. This is definitely a strange claim, guys. But either way, following their decision to step down from their royal duties in 2020. A royal announcement that is sure to rock the United Kingdom and fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just announced that they are, quote, stepping back from their senior roles in the royal family. Harry and Meghan have resided in Canada and then they moved to Montecito, California with their children Archie and Lilibet. And the couple's relationship with their royal relatives have remained strained as evidenced by Harry's recent visit to the UK during which he did not meet with his brother or father King Charles at all. However, royal expert Richard Palmer believes that there is a possibility of the Sussexes being welcomed back into the royal family in the future. And he said this during an episode of Daily Express Royal Roundup. And he said this, I quote, I'm sure the king would welcome them back. I mean, he's quite keen to heal the family rift, but it's obviously very raw at the moment and it's very noticeable. Now guys, I'm not a ghostbuster or anything, so I won't comment on whether or not something supernatural is going on here with Meghan and Harry. But what I do know is that oftentimes these types of tactics are used as a form of coercion to get someone to do what you want them to do. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry might actually be changing their names as a final act in representing their breakaway from the royal family. While there is nothing indicating that Harry and Meghan will drop their royal titles of Duke and Duchess, speculation has been circulating that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are considering a significant rebrand that involves changing their surname. According to reports, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who have been making headlines since stepping back from their royal roles, are contemplating adopting the name Spencer as a tribute to Prince Harry's late mother, Princess Diana. Experts suggest that this is a strategic move that aims to align them with Diana's enduring legacy. Also, talks about the couple's potential rebrand gained a lot of traction following the recent announcement of the termination of their lucrative partnership with Spotify. But actually, the podcast ended up sounding like a very, very kind of bland, run-of-the-mill 
um, interview podcast. And I think that's why people are a bit like confused. With their multi-million dollar deal ended, notable royal author Tom Bauer believes that Prince Harry and Meghan may be seeking to reinvent themselves starting with the name change. According to Tom Bauer, both Meghan and Harry have a deep admiration for Princess Diana, and Meghan has reportedly proposed the idea of dropping the name Windsor and adopting the surname Spencer. So I think he's for a moment to sabotage it, but the Grifters story is fascinating because coincidentally I heard the reason why he called them the Grifters, and that is because they're scroungers, the Sussexes. If this name change takes place, then Meghan Markle would then be Meghan Spencer, which would allow her then to embody the spirit of Diana. That Harry and Meghan were invited to this sunkissed place by the beach. And um, they were stayed for a couple of days and arrived with the host's private jet, as usual. And then Tom Bauer also went on to say that the decision to consider a name change has not been made in isolation. He suggests that the couple has discussed it with others and they are actively pursuing this transformation in names. Tom Bauer also suggested that Prince Harry is also considering taking the name, which would then solidify their departure, him and Meghan, from the royal family identity. And by embracing Diana's name, the couple would fully symbolize their new chapter and separate themselves from their royal lineage. Now, we all know that since stepping back from their roles as senior members of the royal family in early 2020, a royal announcement that is sure to rock the United Kingdom and fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just announced that they are, quote, stepping back from their senior roles in the royal family. And Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have made significant strides in establishing their own identity and independent ventures. They had multi-million dollar deals with Netflix and deals to publish books. So this demonstrates their commitment to carving out their own path and their own narrative beyond the traditional constraints of royal life. These endeavors have allowed them to leverage their platform, share their stories, and pursue projects that align with their values and aspirations. And by the way, this all comes after reports showed that Meghan Markle's popularity fell to an all-time low, especially in the UK. So definitely a rebrand would help with this if even the help is small and slight. According to a recent opinion poll, Meghan Markle's popularity in the United Kingdom has reached an all-time low. And this survey reveals that approximately seven out of 10 Brits hold a negative view of the Duchess of Sussex. Her net favorability rating with the British public has dropped to a record low of negative 47%. And this represents the lowest rating since YouGov started tracking her favorability back in 2017. Now in comparison, Prince Harry's favorability rating experienced a slight decline of 2%, reaching negative 36% compared to negative 34% in April of 2023. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, have been involved in what the couple's spokesperson is calling a near catastrophic car chase involving paparazzi. Recently in New York City, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry experienced a distressing incident involving being in pursuit by the paparazzi. Their spokesperson described it as an intense and highly dangerous situation. However, some individuals, including certain British tabloids, have raised doubts about the couple's account suggesting that they may have exaggerated events for attention. But soon after the event, the couple's publicist said their ride home turned into a near catastrophic car chase at the hands of highly aggressive paparazzi. Those words, a chilling echo of the 1997 crash that killed Harry's mother, Princess Diana, in Paris. One of the most popular theories is that the entire car chase story was completely orchestrated as a publicity stunt to gain public sympathy. It's a complete story that they are willing to spin a PR exercise to say, hey, look at us, we're vulnerable, we are in danger. One such doubter of the event is Meghan Markle's half-sister. During an interview with GB News, Samantha Markle, Meghan Markle's half-sister, shared her perspective on Meghan's connection to Princess Diana, describing it as a little bit eerie. Hands on stones. Um, I, I think, you know, there seems to be an obsession. Let's not forget the lifetime drama escaping the palace, wherein at the end of the drama, she is depicted dying similarly to how Diana did. Now, if that's not a little bit eerie and that's not a little bit obsessed. Um now, it is worth noting that 
Prince Harry tragically lost his mother, Princess Diana, in a car crash back in 1997 while she was being pursued by the paparazzi in Paris. But let's get back to what Samantha had to say about this. Samantha mentioned that Meghan has made comments and remarks that remind her of Diana's tragic passing. Samantha also expressed her belief that Meghan should refrain from portraying herself as a victim in situations like this. She then recounted instances of Meghan Markle wearing Princess Diana's perfume, as well as channeling Princess Diana, and also mimicking Diana in photos, pretty much pointing to Meghan Markle wanting to be Diana in every single way. Then Samantha went on to add this and I quote, how is it near catastrophic? Because your imagination says so. Was there makeup melting? Was there, what was the catastrophe? You tell I me, know. I mean, I was like, no, Sam, I know. So yeah, she doubts that the car chase was near catastrophic. Then the New York Times highlighted an interesting coincidence. On the same day as the alleged chase in New York City, a lawyer representing Prince Harry appeared in a London court arguing that the Duke should have the right to pay for his own security when visiting the UK. This coincidence fueled speculation and added to the conspiracy theories that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the Duke and Duchess, were completely exaggerating the events of this incident. This said their ride home turned into a near catastrophic car chase at the hands of highly aggressive paparazzi. Those words, a chilling echo of the name. Ashley Hansen, the spokesperson for Meghan and Harry, strongly denied the allegations of a PR stunt during an interview with the New York Times. It's also very uncommon for representatives of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to address conspiracy theories so directly. But either way, Ashley Hansen responded by stating this. Respectfully, considering the Duke's family history, one would have to think nothing of the couple or anybody associated with them to believe this was any sort of PR stunt. Quite frankly, I think that's abhorrent. Also, the agency Backgrid, responsible for capturing photos of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during what the couple described as a near catastrophic car chase, is refusing to release images. The legal team representing Meghan and Harry sent a letter to Backgrid demanding the immediate provision of all photos, videos, and films taken by paparazzi after the couple departed from the Miss Foundation 2023 Women of Vision Awards. After that, that's when the car chase happened. Megan was honored as one of this year's Women of Vision Award honorees for her global advocacy to empower women and girls. The event reunited Megan with her friend Gloria Steinem, who presented her with the award. Steinem is also the now in effort to evade the pursuit, the car carrying Harry, Megan, Megan's mother, Doria Ragland and a security guard made its way to a nearby police station. And during the chase, a taxi driver named Sukharn Sunny Singh briefly became involved when his cab was hailed from the police station. There was paparazzi cars following us, but they kept their distance. It wasn't, you know, they weren't right on top of us or trying to come to the side and stuff like that. However, after driving only a short distance, Sunny Singh's taxi was blocked by a garbage truck and paparazzi suddenly appeared taking pictures. Consequently, Sunny Singh drove back to the police station from there. The NYPD did confirm that the paparazzi created a challenging situation for the couple's drive and local authorities provided assistance to Harry and Meghan's security team. So with that said, there was some sort of car chase going on but was it near catastrophic? This is what people are doubting, whether or not it was that serious.